Alright folks, Flip Knight here and what is going to be my new office slash studio? Um, me and my girl, my, my girlfriend and I, let's speak some proper English here. My girlfriend and I, we moved into a new place. One of the things that we were looking for when we moved in together was I needed to have my own space to do these things. One of the biggest problems I've been having lately is that like I've been doing more in-studio things with like blah. I can't stand it when the backdrop and the background doesn't look set up. It's, it's strange to say as you watch enough YouTube and you do enough research you kind of see that like the pleasantries of somebody's backdrop has a lot to do with why you watch them more often than you think you do. Like, I'm not kidding man. That backdrop uh, it, I spent, I sat here for 45 minutes trying to figure out what the best to like, this is whatever. We've spent the last five days moving. We didn't know we were going to officially move until the day we had to move. We, uh, we, we saw this house and we loved it and we told the guy we wanted it and, uh, he gave us all the paperwork. We signed it, whatever. We were waiting to hear back if we were approved and everything. Didn't hear it from the guy until the day he wanted us to move in. Good thing is it's the same realtor as her old apartment, so we had a lot of leniency, but we didn't start packing because we didn't know if we were moving or not. So in five days, this guy alone moved everything from her apartment because I had pretty much moved in for the most part and I had a lot of my own crap in her place. But it started getting really sick while we were moving and she couldn't really help me much and then she had to go to work and there was no if ands or but we have to be out of her old apartment by tomorrow. And I'm filming this yesterday. I haven't had any time to do anything hence the eh, whatever it, video. Not going to be super long, Not most of them have been very long and lately anyway, so. But it's just great to be able to have somewhere that's going to be somewhere set up. Like, like at her old apartment, the few videos that I've made there, like I literally had to move all the furniture and make the backdrops and like try to find any way to make it look as pleasant as possible. And to be able to just walk into a room where I have my computer set up and then I'm going to have more motorcycle side. Then I'm gonna have the other side of the room gonna be all for my parking and stuff, which I should be getting ready to do in the next couple of days. As soon as all of this mess is done and over with, this place is just a clear freaking nightmare. Here, let's go look. Ugh. 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 Yeah. So, no, this place is just completely destroyed. Everything is everywhere. Uh, just like everything is on the floor on top of everything. Just stuff is just purely everywhere. And I can't freaking stand it. Like even the kitchen, usually my favorite room in the house, is just pure mess. We've been doing this so fast and trying to get out of there. Yeah, we were trying to get out of there as fast and as clean as possible that literally everything came out of the truck and onto the floor. And that's all that matters for now because we can do it in the next day or two. But this place is just a disaster zone. And I am just so physically and utterly exhausted. I've been, oh. Come and look at our horrific, but I love it, Florida bathroom. They come in three colors. This ugly green, a baby blue, or a pink. This is a Florida bathroom. Uh, oh my God. Even just holding my camera right now hurts. I'm so sore, I'm so tired. <clears throat> oh, why didn't I move it? <laughs> but yeah, it's just been a lot of moving and tiring, whatever, blah, blah, blah. So, uh, so one thing I haven't really mentioned at all through any of this is that ever since COVID started, I've been basically living with my parents. And I don't say that because it's the internet guys are extremely opinionated. Not that I care that I lived with my parents. It was absolutely fantastic and amazing because there's always food in the fridge and I barely had to pay any rent. And anytime I wanted to get up and go do something, they were there to help me. They took care of Deedles while I was gone. It was fantastic. And if me and my girlfriend ever break up again, I'm moving right back into my parents and I don't give a damn what any of you think. 
why waste any money on something that you don't need to waste money on? Yeah, well, you know, we all like to buy Baraka motorcycles, so we like to waste money. But I bring that up because I finally have this space that's meant for this and overly excited and it's one of those things where like I really liked having the garage because it was a dedicated place to do this. It was nice going to the office. But the thing was also it's like when that idea spark thing hits, you kind of want to get to it before it fizzles out. Being able to have a room in the house that I don't have to set up, there's everything ready to go. All I gotta do is make sure my battery charged and hit record. Everything's ready to go. I just, I'm excited about that. And for the cocktail YouTube thing that I'm gonna start doing, I'm still extremely torn by if I'm gonna do a separate channel or keep it on here. Regardless of which, the working title of the show slash channel, whatever it turns into, just hands. It's gonna be Life Behind Bar. Like, haha, Life Behind Bars, but bar, because I'm a bartender, singular. Life Behind Bar, that's gonna be the cocktail channel slash so if it stays on this channel. I actually wrote some scripts for it and I, those are ready to go. I've been doing a few little things. If anybody saw me bitch out Brittany, go to my TikTok or Instagram. Regardless of which, yeah, I mean, no, it's like, living with your parents shouldn't be shameful. It's not. I'm Brazilian. It really isn't shameful when you do. It, it, it's the normal thing of the culture. But me and my girlfriend have been living together for the last year, so might as well move back together. I get to get all my shit back. I got things in storage that I get to put back and make them all in one place. I have a really bad problem with collecting crap I don't need. It doesn't work, but it's cool as shit. Yeah, I just walked into the camera store, I'm like, ooh, why is this $25? Like, that'll look great on a mantle that I don't have. I do now. But I'm super excited of the possibilities and really wanting to get back to this, and I've been really trying to get back to this. Like, like the thing is, is it's like, this last 12 months have been a right kick in the balls, just doing everything and like everything, this is like, COVID, Deedles, Vertigo, like, like working too much. Like it's been so mentally draining. And then the fact that I'm in a relationship after not being in a relationship for almost a decade, that was a lot. But refiguring out how to do that again after you've turned that part of your brain off, it's been a year. And I'm really looking forward to this next year coming up to be more of this. I like doing this. I want to do more of this and I really need to buckle down and do it again. So unfortunately, you nerds are going to be seeing a whole lot more of this guy coming the next year and following after that. Really gonna buckle down and... Well folks, that's my story and that's where I'm gonna leave it. And I feel like there's a good majority of you who know how this works. Do not forget to like this video. Do not forget to subscribe. As always, catch you on the flip side.